Hi everyone, I'm Davy. Welcome to my channel. Today I am in my front porch and I'm going to share with you our little renovation that we did in our front porch to make it more welcoming for our guests and just more usable. So on my channel, I do all things simple and thrifted living, DIYs and homemaking. So I hope you give this video a thumbs up and I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my community here on YouTube. But I'm going to share with you how we took this small front porch space and made it more workable and more of our cottage farmhouse style that we like. So a while back the first thing that I did to this room was paint the walls. It was a paneling that was brown and the brown just did not look good in here. It was um, made the space very claustrophobic almost for people who came in. It's about like a three by five space, so it is not large. And you can tell it's probably a little echoey in here. I apologize for that. But it is not a large space, so I wanted to freshen it up and lighten it up. And this paint color that I used is the same as what I used in my kitchen, a gray color, and I'll put all that in the description box for you. But I painted the walls, and then on the front door, my husband and I replaced that about a year ago. We had a storm door and another older door on there, and the storm door just kept whipping in the wind and broke off. So we replaced that, painted the front door ourselves, and um, then we needed to add the trim, and the trim work didn't come this project has been going for a while, but the trim work didn't come for about a year here, and we just put that on. But while my husband was pulling off the trim, um, he realized we had tiling on the floor, and the tiling was the same tiling they used on my bathroom floor, bathroom wall, kitchen countertop, and kitchen backsplash, and back porch. So the previous owners must have gotten a great deal on this stuff because it was everywhere in our house. So we pulled that tiling up because it was cracked and broken and underneath we found hardwood floors. So the hardwood floors were a tad scratched up. Um, it took my husband several hours to sand it down. We did go buy a sander because we knew we were going to do more house projects but we went to our local Ace Hardware and that cost probably about $60 to get that sander. But we knew we'd use it in future projects so he got that all done. He went and bought some stain and we got all that done and really nice and completed. And there's some nicks in the floor, but it's just so um, cozy to have a real hardwood floor in our front porch. And I don't mind the nicks and scratches because it gives it some character. So after that was done, we went to our local lumber yard and bought some um, trim and floorboard trim to put around the door and around the floor. So. Um, it wasn't painted, or, so I painted it myself with some local paint from our Ace Hardware that I had gotten, and this paint was stuff I also used to paint our bedroom walls, so it just looks great. I used a nice white, fresh color, and put that up on the walls, to on the trim, to make that pop a little bit, and uh, just made this finished. So we did also buy a light fixture to put up above because our light is ooh, probably from the 80s. So we bought a farmhouse um, light that I got off of Amazon. Um, I think Amazon. I may have actually got it from Home Depot. I'll link that in the description box as well. But to make that more of the farmhouse style as well. So. Overall, this whole project probably cost, with buying the sander, but already having paint and trim, it probably cost about $80, so not too bad to make the space a lot more welcoming. Our door that leads to our house then, we still need to paint, but I have some leftover paint for that, and um, there's still a few other things we could do to touch it up, but it just makes the space more inviting so that people um, are not afraid to continue into the house once they, once they see this space. And it's not air conditioned, so I'm getting getting a little moisture on my face here, so I'm going to end it there. hope that encouraged you to maybe make your front porch a little more inviting for your guests and more workable for you as well. Like I said, I do simple and living and thrifted living, DIYs and homemaking, so definitely subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will be doing a lot more house project videos coming up and thrifting hauls and things like that. So hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video. Bye.